Now, let us see the next method for the preparation of ethers that is Williamson synthesis. Williamson synthesis is Rx plus RONA gives you ROR plus NAX. Now, what you have? Rx, it has to be a primary halide and RONA could be any complex RONA. Okay? That is R group may be bulky, no problem. Now, C2H5Cl plus C2H5ONA will give you C2H5OC2H5 plus NaCl. So, this is a symmetrical ether, no problem. Whatever alkyl group you have taken in Rx, the same alkyl group you have taken in RONA also and you are getting a symmetrical ether. But then if you want to prepare an unsymmetrical ether, unsymmetrical ether means surrounding this ethereal oxygen, this is a different alkyl group and this is a different alkyl group. This is ethyl and this is tertiary butyl. Now this is called as an unsymmetrical ether or you can also call it as a mixed ether. Now how can you prepare such an ether? Now there are two possibilities. You can either take C2H5Cl plus CH3 thrice CONA or if you take it the other way that is tertiary halide and simple alkoxide. In that case both the possibilities are there you may get ROR. But what they have found is only the first combination will give you the desired ether but the second combination will not give you an ether. Right? Why it will not give you an ether? Because in the second one C2H5O minus and Na plus. This is how it will split. Now the C2H5O minus which is derived from C2H5O and A will act as a better proton acceptor more than a nucleophile. Instead of acting as a nucleophile, it will better act as a proton acceptor. What is a proton acceptor? Base. Base is a proton acceptor. Now how it is accepting a base? See here. This is CH3 thrice Cl. Now I have shown one CH3 opened it up, right? So one of the CH bonds, it is getting shifted towards a carbon and the CCl bond, it is shifting towards a more electronegative Cl so that Cl can leave as Cl minus, right? Now the C2H5ONA, this is splitting in the form of C2H5O minus and Na plus. Now this C2H5O minus, it is trying to abstract a proton from this carbon. If this is being pulled, this Cl minus will go with Na plus as NaCl. Okay. So what you are getting, there will be a double bond created between the two. So you will get a double bond here. CH3 twice, C double bond CH2 plus NaCl plus C2H5OH. Right. So here what has happened? Elimination has taken place. Okay. So elimination has superseded substitution when, when the RONA is with a simple R group. This will better act as a base rather than a nucleophile. That is why we say you can take a bulky RONA but Rx should always be primary. If it is a tertiary halide then this will be more favorable towards becoming an alkene, right? Remember, alkoxides are not only nucleophiles, but they are also strong bases. You have to remember this. They are also strong bases. Okay, they are bred better proton acceptors. Now, now supposing, if I ask you, you have to prepare methoxybenzene. And I have given you chlorobenzene and CH3ONA and C6H5ONA and CH3Cl. Out of these two combinations, which one will give you this? Whether this is a better combination or a perfect combination or is this a perfect combination? Now, 
whoever is saying that this is a better combination in that case how can nucleophilic substitution take place with chlorobenzene you have studied in the previous chapter that chlorobenzene is less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution okay so cl cannot leave as cl minus because of resonance stabilization whereas in this case this will split in the form of phenoxide ion and na plus right and this na plus will go with cl as cl minus and ch3 yahan pe lag jayega that is c6h5o minus can replace cl minus so you will get methoxy benzene okay so second combination gives ether and not the first combination why because haloarenes are less reactive towards nucleophilic substitution because of resonance stabilization theek okay? hai that's it